One of my favorite scenes in the movie The Hobbit is immediately after Bilbo decides he's not accompanying the dwarves on their quest. He wakes up, not realizing that the company has left, and realizing the opportunity he's about to throw away, rushes after them, shouting, I want to go on an adventure! All my life I've wanted an adventure, and this was the exact feeling I felt when I received a short, simple email from a professor last spring. Immediately, it was as if I could see into the future, and the regret I'd have if I didn't take this opportunity I'd just been given. With these things, there's always self-doubt, you know, if you'll fit in with the group dynamic or if you're even right for the job, or if you'll be an asset to the project or a burden. And words like extensive and intensive survey techniques, scale drawings, artifact recording, really add a layer of apprehension. As it turns out, I stayed in a room that looked like this, within a small village that looked like this, and people who looked like this. And Armenia was a foreign world. Standing on top of mountain ridges over a thousand meters high and seeing down the Silk Road where ancient people traveled for centuries. Climbing fire beacons that thousands of years ago were lit when raiders were seen along the pathways. Looking up into the sky at night and seeing millions of stars that you could never see from home. The views were breathtaking. And to complete the Hobbit parallels, I encountered my own Smaug. Not a dragon as those aren't native to Armenia, but a Syrian brown bear. And I'm not going to play it light, that situation was very scary, but the team and I kept a cool head, and I came out relatively unscathed. I knew a guy who claimed that nothing ever good comes from going into nature, but I have to disagree. It was scary, not just the bear, but all the unknowns. But without taking a leap of faith, you'll never truly live, and you'll never truly have an adventure. And at the end of all this, I'm glad to say I went there and back again.